Okay, y'all. Let's get rocking here for our <clears throat> bonus session number one with our live intensive. And again, ask questions of Christina in the chat or myself. And I see a few here that I can't wait to answer. So I'm excited about that. So let's talk about getting your account set up right. Utilizing ad manager, looking at the metrics that you need, proper account structure, optimizing your setting up your business account and giving you the best possible head start on Pinterest. So for sure we want to go through, okay, let's go through the business account setup and then we'll do analytics and overview. Quick question. Do you ever re recommend using Amazon as the end of funnel versus the direct e-com website? I'm guessing it wouldn't work for shopping campaigns, but perhaps the others. Um, yes, you definitely can. The only thing you have to keep in mind is you're not going to really be able to track it. Amazon doesn't really keep it open for you to track very well. So it's very hard to get accurate numbers on there. Now, if you know that the amount of traffic you drive to Amazon is going to drive a certain amount of, like, you know, your conversion rate is 5% and you can see on Pinterest, okay, I've driven a thousand impressions or a thousand clicks, then you should be able to calculate your percentage. And so I would try it, see how it does. You can even try it with organic. We do a lot of organic stuff to Amazon pages for sure. And then you can check it. Yes, is there a way to see how many saves and repins someone has done? Yes, absolutely. You can see that inside your analytics and also your ads manager. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about the specific types that work best when I do the Q&A here. So let's get our, I'm gonna open my ad account. Now, I don't have this one set up specifically we've run a lot of ads in here so but i disabled a lot of stuff and so you can kind of just see the general setup to start so in general under this now you will not see ads analytics or any of this stuff if you do not have a business account set up so you would want to inside your personal account there will be a button that says to uh i don't think it's uh, yeah convert to a business account. So you would you could convert this back to a personal account. You have to have a personal account to have a business ads manager connected to it. So, but you definitely have to have a business account um, real essentially to get to, to where people can drive links to your website and things like that. So I highly recommend it. Uh, you can edit your public profile, tell all of your story, edit your email address that's on file, all of that kind of stuff is gonna be in there. And your public profile, your personal information, you can check your business goals. Usually they'll try and like reach out to you and say, you run ads, which is nice. <laughs> and then, okay, so home feed tuner. So uh, whatever you like on the platform, you're gonna start seeing, and you can just kind of make edits there if you want to on your different things that you can see on your home feed. Here we go back to settings. Uh, claimed account. So this is really important. You want to claim your websites. I don't have anything claimed on here because we're not running ads on here. You have to claim your website inside Pinterest to be able to uh, create a feed or to do shopping campaigns or anything like that. It's just a little piece of code that needs to go on the header of your website. It's similar. Facebook is now making you verify the account. That's the same thing. You can also create bulk bins here from your general like website fees or a CSV file. You can allow social permissions, that kind of thing. If you wanna have automatic things showing up, you can master your notifications if you want emails or not, and keep track of what data and things like that that they keep. Um, here's where you would see any connected devices or Shopify app accounts or anything like that. Um, okay, so then under ads, let's just go to overview. So this is again, back to this screen. Generally, we use this reporting tab for ads, and this is where you're gonna see like your general ads manager. So if we had campaigns, you can create your campaigns here. You can see, I don't wanna resume, the different types of campaigns you can select. You would name the campaigns if you wanna start it active or start it paused, daily or lifetime amounts, that kind of thing. Uh, let's just do a test consideration. Um, with a $85 a day, there we go. Uh, and then this is where we had talked about, you can reconnect with users or find your own customers, select your audience lists, do your budget, select your images, that kind of thing. You'll see all of your pins on here and then you'll also see boards 
Like, for example, that you can select different events and stuff on there. Um, okay, so conversions. This is where you would select your pixel and where you would set up your, your pixel. And you would just go to, to oh, let's go to Tag Manager. Maybe, hold on one second. So you just hit get, get started and then you go to your website and then you can add the base code if you're gonna do it manually or you can just ignore this and do the Shopify app, which you would install on Shopify first before you installed on Pinterest. And then you can run <coughs> custom reports on here if you wanna see a certain specific data and then audiences, I was gonna show you this part as well. So you can create your audiences and engagement audiences. This is what, uh, back to your question about, can you see saves and repins? You can see people who have engaged and you can create people who have engaged, etc. You can do site visitors where you can upload a list of people who have either hit your Pinterest tag or you can upload a CSV list of customers that you wanna retarget here. And you can also create an act alike based on any of these previous audiences. And then whenever you start running ads, you'll start to see reporting here inside your ads manager. And this is where you'll see the campaign name, the spend, the number of clicks, all of those kinds of things. You have a few options if you just wanna see how they're looking in general, if you wanna see how they're delivering, if you wanna see the performance, or if you just wanna see video ads, you can look there. Analytics is cool. This is mainly, this is organic analytics, which is kind of fun. You can check your custom date range or any date range, and then you can look at the number of impressions, engagements. This is where you were asking how many saves and repins. You can see the pin click rate, the save rate, engaged audience, monthly total audience, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Here, again, Pinterest is very seasonal. You'll see a lot of random seasonal stuff. Then you can also see the top boards that people are engaging with the top pins that people are engaging with, et cetera. And you can see the number of engagements, impressions, uh, pin clicks, and saves here, all on the list. This is not our main profile, so there's not a lot of data on here. <clears throat> yeah, and then you can start looking at, oh, it does have a paid and earned section now. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we haven't run any ads in here in a while, but then you can see the option between organic the age range, you can select your own filters, which is kind of cool. And then you can also export this data if you want to do that. This is where you would create a pin, create an ad or an idea pin. This is the audience insight factor that I mentioned earlier, where you can see the people that have hung out with uh, your brand. It would show up some data here if we had been using this ad account. Here's the data for all Pinterest users that would look like this. These are the categories that they're hanging out in. These are some of the keywords they're engaging with. This is the majority of people that are hanging out, how old they are, top metrics, locations and devices, etc. Uh, yeah, okay, so we went through analytics, etc. Yeah, so you can kind of see a basic setup walkthrough on there, just depending on what you're trying to, what objection, objectives you're trying to hit, etc that's where you would start seeing kind of like making sure that you're tracking. You would see once you install your pixel, you're going to see data coming back through, through your tracking. You'll be able to create certain audiences based on your pixel, that kind of thing. And then once you start getting ad data inside the ads manager, you'll start seeing the ad, the opportunity to make optimizations in there. You can't do it obviously until that's done. So how could Pinterest help you? What is a new client worth if you're trying to run ads for someone else? What is it worth for you, a new customer? What is your acquisition cost and what are you spending on other channels to get that done right now? Usually it's a lot more. What's your average order value? And how are you increasing that order value? What are your target costs per million impressions? Again, another metric that's gonna be expensive on pretty much every other channel. And also normal cost per leads and what is it gonna cost you to open a new marketing channel or not? These are the skills that you definitely need. You have definitely want to make sure that you're niche marketing, that you're figuring out where your audience is hanging out, especially on Pinterest, etc. Want to make sure you get your accounting and tech correct, <laughs> especially on Pinterest with cross channel marketing, you definitely want to get that done. Your image and content design, you want it to be unique, don't want to use your Facebook or Instagram strategy, you want to make sure you have good quality images, videos, etc. set up for Pinterest, and then also keyword master plan. Definitely need to take into consideration your visible search, 
your search terms and learn to rank your custom search engine. And then of course, who is your ideal audience and your targeting? How are, how are you connecting with them? We talked about all your different types of ad strategies and targeting and that kind of thing. Your audiences, your pinning schedule, like how often are you creating new content? Your funnel strategy, what is your specific Pinterest conversion strategy? Your lead generation strategy, how are you hitting those top, middle, and bottom of funnel? Critical to do a conversion rate optimization and knowing what moves the needle for your conversions, knowing your analytics, learning how to read your analytics as you're beginning to optimize your ads, looking for your cost per leads and all of those things inside Pinterest. And then of course, definitely have to maximize your cross channel tracking and you wanna utilize new features. Pinterest is releasing new features all the time. And the enhanced match we talked about with the email tracking, which is amazing. You can do automatic bidding. That's only about mm, eight or nine months old. You're, they have new campaign types coming out all the time and there's new options inside the campaigns to get better, more specific targeting, which is great. And last click targeting and things like that. Multiple feeds. You, they have additional metrics that they're setting up with the idea pins. So pretty soon, I know you were asking about pins and resaves. There's a new set of metrics coming out for idea pins that are just now starting to show up. Um, and then of course your manual bidding versus automatic bidding versus CBO campaigns where they're finding the audiences for you, which is really good. Your conversion objectives. And of course you wanna keep up with all the creative changes that are happening. Here's some another great, awesome account. Even if you only had $5,000 to advertise and you made 129,000, I can't imagine you wouldn't want to keep putting money in that machine. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just a lot of exceptional, incredible opportunity on Pinterest and so, we are actually launching today the Pin Ads Academy Mentorship. If you're interested in learning more about Pinterest, in having us sit with you and help you master every single one of those skills and having all of our team at your disposal to sit with you and talk with you and explain the entire process, we have our custom Pin Ads Academy hybrid model that we, ha as you guys know, I mean, we have a done for you marketing agency that we've been doing ads for clients for the last oh, seven or eight years, just Pinterest specific and matching that up with SEO. We also have courses. The hard thing about courses is I've created a million courses. They are constantly being updated. There's new stuff to learn all the time. There's no support with courses. And then when you get into the ad account, it's really, really hard to learn a new ad strategy without help. And as when I was learning Facebook and all that kind of stuff, I was just like super stressed about it because if you don't have help, it's really hard to do it. So. Our model is really to designed to help you guys learn to run your own ads. You can train your team, get more affordable than done for you strategy, confidently try and test new strategies with support, get the highest levels of support, state of the art, pin ads training portal. You'll still get access to all the courses and everything that we've created that are constantly being updated. And of course the most cutting edge strategies for all different kinds of brands. There's a million things that you can try. And then of course you'll get access to our four stage process where we help you figure out your intent-based targeting, set you up with a pin rings e-com system so you're confident in your tracking, help you with your optimization metrics and scaling so that you can really master a new marketing channel. It's definitely a challenge, but we'll teach you how to do this intent-based targeting for yourself. If you wanna run ads for another brand, you're more than welcome to do that. We wanna help you get your team set up so that they understand tracking, having the right foundation for success to open a unique marketing channel and a lot of people get it wrong. And so we really, <clears throat> if you don't have all four of these components, it's really, really hard to have success on any channel, especially Pinterest, it's not very forgiving. So if we help you set it up right from the beginning, the likelihood of you having personal success, or even if you wanted to learn this skill and share it with others or, or become an ads manager for other brands, it's an exceptionally powerful skill to have. And of course, we have a cutting edge systematized process for budgeting, for knowing when ads are effective, for testing your target KPIs, for optimizing your creatives at scale and volume, and for bidding strategies. And of course, we have lots of clients spending over $100,000 a month with consistent ROAS, some at $150,000 a day, which is insane. <laughs> um, we started working with Luke, he's amazing. He came to, um, to our mentorship, I think it was like, yeah, it was like November of last year, right before he was right before the holidays and he was so nervous. He's like, I want to have an amazing holiday season, but I'm struggling to get new clients. And within two months of working with us, he increased his average client value by over $20,000 a month, which is insane. He was going, he was making $35,000, $3,500 a month when I talked to him 
initially and he went to 20k in the first two months so that was amazing i was stoked for him he's amazing um yeah and so if, if this is something that you're considering for wanting to learn for yourself or even to run for other brands there's really nobody else out there teaching or training at this level and with pinterest you can expect to get lower cost per cost per acquisitions cheaper price for new customers lower cpms higher roas at scale higher average order value and of course target your interests and keywords which is exceptional and of course you get access to our luxury state of the arts pin ads training portal which is just exceptional we're always having new stuff in there we've got all of our strategy plans all of our strategy guides there's a lot of things happening and we're constantly updating it so you get access to all that all the live calls live trainings all that stuff you'll get a one-on-one -on -one custom plan for your brand we'll sit down and go through together figure out exactly what's going on with you what your goals are and how we can help you get a custom plan to get there for sure and you'll have access to our my team going forward who are amazing exceptional state-of-the-art advertisers on pinterest you'll get access to our custom reporting structure which is amazing this is something we literally spent hundreds of thousands of dollars developing so it's like my honor and excitement in life to share that <laughs> because we spent so much time but it's amazing and all of your target kpis ad performance metrics this is something that we've never offered before because it's only something that we offer for our done for you clients and it's expensive it's something that we paid a lot of money for but and a lot of hours of testing <laughs> the girls will tell you <laughs> that, is, that and you'll also get access to our customs tracking setup which is amazing again another something that we spent a fortune on trying to really figure out how to track events and we're at such a high level and scale with our clients that we can't afford to not have the best of the best and these these solutions did not exist before we started advertising so we've literally invented the solutions for ads for reporting i have a friend who's on the engineering team at pinterest and he's exceptional and he's worked with us to really master the reporting which is amazing and then of course we'll have weekly live ad clinics where you can come on live submit your questions and then you'll have a private community as well where you can submit questions and we'll answer them we have also a weekly live copy and creative clinic where we'll go through creative design copy design all those kinds of questions that you have about designing funnels we'll, all of that stuff we'll go through that and live q a troubleshooting you'll have access to our team we'll review accounts we do a lot of hot seats that kind of thing help you with audience creation figuring out what's going to be the best strategy and then of course we want to help you build systems not just learn to do one thing that's going to be in a silo but actually create systems that are going to hit you from all angles on ads when you're really trying to advertise to your brand to your customers people don't live in a silo anymore they're really trying to get this omni-channel strategy so we're really really good about that we're able to help our clients fit amazingly well inside the pinterest ad strategy channel we do a lot of fun office hours and social events we want you guys to network and meet each other and anyway we can help all boats rise in the ocean we're definitely about making it fun and we enjoy our business i think we have an amazing team we have a lot of fun and we're we're always working hard and really just trying to enjoy all the new things that are always coming at us <laughs> with advertising in general and then we have a four to six month ongoing mentorship depending on what timing you you want to do you'll have recordings available hot seats live q a pixel help funnel review add an image creative ad structure audience setup and live account optimization help we also are going to bring in our tracking team they're going to come in and help answer questions about tracking and setup and all that kind of stuff you'll have access to christina all the time she's our client concierge she really wants to help make your experience amazing that you have a really high touch experience so that you'll have focused high touch experience that's laser focused even though it's in a group format there's still extremely high touch and you will always be able to get one-on-one -on -one attention in every single call so and of course we do tons of bonus trainings and strategies i have an ex exceptional strategy set up for black friday for the holidays for getting things set up for evergreen offers there's just like so much power and value inside all of our trainings and we're always adding new trainings as well to help you learn about new emerging markets and there's just a lot of different strategies for a lot of different stuff we have a lot of checklists sops things inside there to help you with audience creation getting your right metrics your targeting your funnels and keyword research and all that stuff 
And yeah, just helping with, we've had so many amazing clients have just radical success. So I want to give you guys a chance to come in, come and learn as well. If this is something that you're serious about wanting to learn for your brand or offer as a service to your clients, there's no better place for you to get such crazy results with high average order values. And I could show you a million more case studies, but I don't want to inundate you <laughs> with all the crazy results. So uh, you have a couple of options. You can either kind of figure out if you want to continue with one to two channels that are maybe going to have some efficiency or try and kind of scale through a new channel that we've tested and tried. I know this is a big decision for folks opening a new marketing channel, but uh, I don't want to leave you in the dust thinking that you that it's easy to do it by yourself. You definitely need support, uh, especially to get better sales and master this idea of, of being a master marketer. Being an authentic but really high level marketer, I've been doing marketing for 18 years with some of the largest brands in the world. And I can promise you that they think differently and that there's a way to think differently about marketing that will help you become an extreme professional to have people seeking after you. We've literally never done any ads for our, our done for you services because we've just become the best in the world at what we do. And so I want to, we've never shared this with anyone before. This is like, people have been begging me for this for such a long time. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> but now I'm really excited. We have a great strategy in place, a ton of just easy, actionable plans that you guys can look at that are going to help you master and embody this next level of advertising for yourself. And if you wanted to run ads for someone else as well um, and build the skills that you need to confidently be a master marketer and surrounded by other people every day that are going to help you rise to that level. So what is it costing you to not open a new marketing channel? Only you can answer that. I know that a lot of our clients are stressed because of all the things that have happened with the iOS updates and all the different crazy things that are happening in advertising. You have to stay on the cutting edge and really sharpen your skills. And even if you got 50% more traffic or two to three new ad clients or a hundred new customers, what would that do for you over the next three to four months is pretty radical if you start thinking about it. So that's one reason why we decided to, to set up like a full mentorship program. I didn't think doing just a course would be something that I, I never really felt a hundred percent confident putting a course out into the world and just kind of letting you fend for yourself to the wolves. <laughs> That's very scary. I've done it before and I don't recommend it. So we want to give you guys the ability to launch a profitable new system in six months or less. So you definitely have the opportunity to deliver on your ads, feel confident if you wanted to take on clients, get the support that you need for your clients and know that you're at world-class level of experience and education to answer your questions and really help you master a new marketing channel that you feel good about and the same strategies that we're using every day and learning every day. And we have the ability to use these huge budgets to test and try a lot of things. So you guys get the ability to see all that. Plus we have the highest level reps and every kind of question, any kind of problem, we have access to the answers for that. So you're invited to join us if that's something that you feel good about. Uh, it's definitely the best, most comprehensive full scale marketing strategy with the culmination of six years and $35 million a year in ad spend with the newest strategies across multiple channels, understanding how Pinterest fits into that channel and getting exclusive bonuses with your virtual live event trainings. We also do optimization clinics from time to time, helping you with conversion rate optimization, which is huge for any advertising, including Pinterest, helping you drive Pinterest specific driving traffic clinics, helping you do case studies. If you want to run this as a new offer for other clients, help teaching you how to maximize your case studies and what to try and what to do for your clients. And then we have a six month kind of plan on helping you elevate your mindset, getting your account set up properly, getting your first ads live, continuing your ads, optimizing your ads, learning new campaigns at scale, getting really good and confident so that you can go out into the world and either run your own ads or offer this as a service to someone else. Yeah, so let's talk q and I know we have some good Q&A questions in the chat. So 
Um, I have some standard questions that I get asked a lot, but let me answer your guys' questions here first. Um, is there any specific type of ad that works best? You just see video with or without captions or images. So I don't generally recommend user generated content for Pinterest. In general, it is, you can do it for ads. It doesn't work as well as you would think for uh, for ads. It works exceptionally well for organic. So yes, I would use UGC for organic. If you can create your UGC to look kind of more lifestyle image video creative, that's not as much, uh, that's, that's not, that's not hard to read and understand, then yes, I would always recommend using captions with your videos and images always. Um, let's see campaigns can't platform for us target the targeting the Hispanic market which is hard to understand in Spanish yeah they just recently opened in opened the re, the target market in South America so you're but you're getting good cost per leads and cost per purchases there so if that's your market i would say i'm i would definitely do we just did a food brand down there that was that was amazing they did really good co low cost per leads low cost per millions impressions um sasha's saying that you're not getting as high of cost per purchase yeah i understand usually it's a mixture of creative not having the account set up a lot of trial and error yes <laughs> Uh, have I, I, someone's, uh, Sasha, you're running ads for a 30 day online fitness challenge. Yeah. I would definitely increase your average order value by offering more products. Yeah. It's, that's everything that you guys are saying about getting not really consistent results and all that kind of stuff. I see that all the time. It's really hard. People are trying to apply their Facebook strategy to Pinterest. They're trying, they don't understand the buying behavior. They don't have their account set up right they're trying they're using weird creative strategies there's just so many different things um making adjustments to the budgets without the algorithm interrupting the algorithm how how long should you wait uh it's not as much about timing as it is about percentage it's nine percent maximum per day or two is the most that i would say increase the budget you could do i don't know we did a bunch of tests a while back where you could double we doubled the budget uh, every three days, I think. And that worked out okay too. I think you just have to understand every time you increase the budget, it's gonna reduce the out, it's going to reduce your row ads initially. Uh, resetting the algorithm is less finicky now than it was before, but I would say 9% to be safe per day. In the case of offering a service, Daniela, like Holistic Health, how would you suggest to spend on your daily ads considering the budget depends on the number of products you have. So coaching, generally I would recommend that you do a mix of lead generation offers. So optimizing for lead gen, getting people in for some kind of an opt-in, and then also doing a mix of maybe some kind of a live event, and then driving straight to, to book a call page. I would probably do it that way versus just straight to purchase, depending on your product price point. Um, what are the essential tools that you rec recommend for starters? Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot of stuff out there. I would say you can definitely use the Pinterest trends tool and the Pinterest predicts tool are good ones. And then niches that you should avoid on Pinterest. Uh, maybe Alex, you can respond to that. I would say we haven't really had, for me, it's more about does the, does the website look like it is conversion rate optimized and it's actually going to convert? If it doesn't seem like a legitimate website or a legitimate offer, I wouldn't run it on Pinterest. So it's really more about that because now we're getting plenty of men's brands that work great, plenty of women's brands, children's brands, gift brands. There's nothing really, I don't know, maybe Alex, you can chime in on that one if you think there's anything that you wouldn't recommend. Uh, for a niche supplement brand, how much would, would you suggest to spend daily? I would say at least, usually for e-com, you're looking at between three to 5,000 a month to really give it a solid test. And you need to have that much for three months or so in a row. 
so that you can try at least 5x your target CPA per ad set per day. So if you had a $10 product, you were trying to get $10 CPAs and you'd need at least $50 per day per ad set. And each ad set, you're testing a different audience and creative. So depending on how aggressive you want to be with testing, usually I don't recommend e-commerce. You try less than about 3000 a month. Uh, what are the metrics you look at to see where an ad is to continue to let it run or not? I would say it just really depends on timing. You have to make sure that you're giving it enough time. So 10 days-ish minimum from the time you very first start. And we're looking at ROAS. We're looking to make sure that they have enough ad to carts. We're looking to see what the CPAs are looking at. They're always going to start really high and probably wouldn't look at CPA right away unless you're making a lot of conversions. Um, usually it takes about a month to see if an ad is going to be really ready to run, which I know it's hard to wait that long, but yeah, I would say typically it's more about timing. And I do get asked a lot, how long does it take for pin ads to work? It really varies. It can be right away, but I would say in general, like I mentioned earlier, a four month solid trial to make sure that the ads are actually working well for you. Um, are pin ads scalable? Yes, they're crazy scalable. We have p people spending a ton of money on Pinterest every day. You guys saw a ton of great case studies. Um, believe me, they didn't all start, they didn't start there. <laughs> Usually it was a very small budget to start, had some winners and started scaling. But yes, we have not hit the cap for what I would consider is scalable. Would I be able to improve my organic traffic and SEO through Pinterest? Yes, absolutely. Highly recommend because again, everything on Pinterest lasts forever. So you want to keep in mind that kind of a strategy as you're creating a strategy to make sure that your organic and SEO intention is there even on your ads because things last forever, even on the ads and organic for sure. And it's going to drive a lot of traffic through ads and through SEO. Can I start organic and switch to ads? Yes, you can. For sure, you can get a lot of good data uh, on the organic side and then switch to ads for sure. If you have a brand, brand new brand, we always suggest starting that way. If you uh, are just starting to run ads, we always do a mix of ads and organic. Um, are Pinterest ads affordable? Yes, I would say they're probably a little bit more expensive and a little less forgiving than Facebook in the sense of over, like the cost per leads and everything are cheaper, but to get started, yes, it's gonna take a little bit more patience and money up front to get started. You, you're not going to be able to get away with $10 a day and those kinds of things here. Some people will try and say that, but I, I disagree. How long should I do organic prior to adding paid? Mm, two months, maybe two months or so. If you're brand, brand new, uh, what can I expect with ads? You can expect we have with having things set up properly, having someone being able to walk you through it. All of our clients are getting anywhere between two and five X ROAS. Definitely. You can expect things to take a little bit longer. You can expect, um, this delayed attribution where you're seeing an image, saving, saving it, coming back later. And that's going to reflect in your ads manager as well, where you're going to start seeing ads, uh, coming back later, people coming back and purchasing. Average row ads, again, two to five X. You scale by having your your system set up correctly and there's just a lot of different ways. You scale with different creatives, different offers, different funnels, um, larger budgets, that kind of thing. Uh, just starting with Pinterest ads, would you recommend training traffic campaign for some time before starting conversions? If you're just starting, yes, I would test some things in traffic, make sure your pixel's looking good, make sure you're getting some conversions, and then yes, start with tra start with conversions. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so you're welcome to join us in the mentorship. We'd love to have you. We have, again, one-on-one -on -one custom calls with our teams. You'll also, uh, some, there is a one-on-one -on -one custom strategy call with me as well. It's op opportunity on there. There's additional team members that you can add in for training. You'll have access to our client concierge, four to six months of hands-on training from our support team. Weekly co copy and creative clinics with our team. Luxury state of the art, best in the industry, Pinterest ads online training portal that's always updated. A weekly live ad and optimization clinic with me. So yeah, I would love to have y'all if you are feeling like you're ready. It's definitely the highest touch, highest level Pinterest ads experience. 
Um, what is the time commitment with that? You really are looking at between probably about five hours a week, something like that for four to six months. And then how long does it take to get your account set up and running? Usually two weeks. If you're just running ads for yourself and you've never used Pinterest before, usually two weeks. We always fast track that for our clients, but um, that's because we're doing it for them. <laughs> so depending on how fast and aggressive you wanna be, it can be very fast. Um, how long does it take to get through the material in the student training center? There's a lot of stuff in there. I would say it's gonna take you ongoing from the four to six months to get it in there for sure. How long does it take to implement everything in this amazing life-changing program? I would say, um, yeah, you should, we, on our six month timeline, we're looking at getting your ad account set up, getting everything all set up, starting your creatives, getting your first ad set up, getting your optimizations and scaling, all of that stuff done within four to six months. Yeah, it's, there's never been a better time to open a new marketing channel. Everybody is looking for new marketing channels right now. So get ahead of the competition, be one of the first to open your product and service, have that early start advantage in this new blue ocean space. There's not a lot of competition, which is amazing. Don't be dependent on other social media channels. And believe me, six from, months from now, you will wish <laughs> that you had started a new channel today. So minimum budget to start Pinterest ads budget, I would say, for lead gen, 1,000 to 1,500. For e-com, I usually recommend not less than 2,500. Um, does Pinterest optimize your campaign or account as a whole? Uh, each ad set is optimized by itself. You can optimize by ads, that kind of thing as well. Cost of the program. So you can drop a link in the, uh, in the chat and we'll have Adrian chat with you. There's a bunch of different options on there. So depending on how much time you have, et cetera, he will be able to help you choose the right one. <clears throat> yeah, yay, awesome, so glad to have you guys. This is amazing. I'm so excited for you to open up your new Pinterest ad strategy. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Amazing to have you here as well. <laughs> um, I'm stoked for you guys. This is such a great opportunity to open a new marketing channel to learn more. Thank you for coming. If you have more questions, you can always contact us through support at pinsforprofit.com and talk to Christina. She's amazing. She can message her in the client concierge on Facebook, Google. You can add yourself to our free Facebook group. And then, yeah, um, everybody with this program gets a free consultation call. So you'll probably be getting a call from Joe or Adrian coming up soon. And you can chat with him about if, you know, your goals and that kind of thing. So we can help support you on what makes the most sense for you. All right, y'all, have a great day, blessings, and happy pinning.